Give mercy to love and release the holiness in our love. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity and to fix their on our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the fertile pilgrims your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your blooms, shower us with your kindness, lead us into light and into love, lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the Augustus mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. And shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me. Although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory <coughs> to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us 
and he stood down to me, heard my cry. He drew me from the deadly pit, from the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footsteps firm. He put a new song into my mouth, praise of our God. Many shall see and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord and has not gone over to the rebels who follow false gods. How many, O Lord my God, are the wonders and designs that you have worked for us, you have no equal. Should I proclaim and speak of them, they are more than I can tell. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim, instead here am I. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law, in the depth of my heart. <clears throat> your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. <clears throat> my lips I have not sealed, you know it, O oh Lord. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. O Lord, you will not withhold your compassion from me. <clears throat> your merciful love and your truth will always guard me. For I am beset with evils too many to be counted. My sins have fallen upon me and my sight fails me. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart sinks. O Lord, come to my rescue. Lord, come to my aid. O let there be shame and confusion on those who seek my life. O let them turn back in confusion who delight in my harm. Let them be appalled, covered with shame who jeer at my love. O oh, let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say, The Lord is great, who love your saving help. As for me, wretched and poor, the Lord thinks of me. You are my rescuer, my help. O oh God, do not delay. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Behold, I come to do your will. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild rejoice. Why are you cast down, my soul? I groan within me. Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. 
My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul, like groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Look up and raise your heads. We have passed out of death into life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. <coughs> I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. <clears throat> Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. What am I to say or tell him? He has done it. I shall go on through all my years, despite the bitterness of my soul. Those live whom the Lord protects, yours the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. Thus is my bitterness transformed into peace. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior, we shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, 
now and forever. Amen. We have passed out of death into Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. Sing praise for God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the people are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. From the book of Genesis. The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people, people's homage. Save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. 
He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, <coughs> holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Mistuses Gabriel Angelus Ad Mariam Virginem Desponsa Daniose Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that by her example we may in humility hold fast to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. <coughs> o shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, light by, by revealing to us, us the mystery of the word, word the eternal fruit of his bosom, bosom, source of all light and of all truth. O beloved the disciple of the word made flesh, flesh who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, heart drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son, and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his life, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapetos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.